Hi, this is Aaron with Tesla Chargers, and we're excited to announce the release of the new 2.5 amp hour 2A12 Extreme model. And the difference between the older 2A12 is that this one is a 2.5 amps instead of 2, and it also has one single light, so it makes it a little bit easier to understand when it's charged. Red light, single red light is charging, and when it hits green, then it's ready to be disconnected from the charger and just to show what this charger is able to do it's not designed for monster batteries but just on this test with this 400 something amp hour um, train battery uh, some of the cells are disconnected so it's only 12 volts but you can see that it's um, pushing this this battery is already pushed up to about 12.9 and right here this is a peak meter where you can see that it's um, getting up to the 13 volts because the 13 is a solid and then these other ones are reading what the peaks are hitting and it's getting up to the 15 volt range which is where you want and if you listen you can hear a little clicking sound that's the capacitor discharging and it's it's about twice as fast um, twice as many discharges in the same period of time compared to the old charger which means it's also going to charge the batteries a lot quicker and the price is actually comparable to the old two, uh, 2A12 and we already have these available at a, a discount right now um, on teslachargers.com So what you just saw there was this um, extreme charger just top of this um, battery up back here and you can see when the uh, this voltage indicator here is solid on the 15 then it's it's all the way up to the top and if we just wait a few minutes this light will turn green um, but this basically shows that this can definitely push these batteries to the 15 volt range It'll take you a little while to get this green because it has to put every last ounce in. But, but this should cut the charging time maybe in half since it's twice as many. Close to, but watch. We'll disconnect it now. battery drops this is our level indicator meter it is a, a newer product on uh, for uh, showing where the battery state is you can leave this connected to the battery and then of course we we'll plug the charger and you'll get a green and then a red and we'll take time because it has to bring the battery every last ounce of energy before this will turn green that could be a couple hours So that may be helpful for people who don't understand what what this is about so if we load the battery right
and if we just leave it there, it'll be probably a couple hours before this turns green, uh -huh. of which it won't come back. It'll come back and check in so many hours to where the battery is and then top the battery and then, then it'll be done. So you could leave it on there if you wanted to. You could leave it on the battery, but most of the people that have these, the extreme charger, um, what they do is they just bring their battery till it turns green and then they use the battery. It's, it's, so you can leave this on your battery and you don't have to worry about it boiling it dry. Right. Because it right. Cut, cuts back and just kind of goes into a float mode. Well, it'll go back and then stay in, in, the, in the green range and then it'll come back and check it one more time. Mm -hmm. And after it tops it one more time, you won't see it happen, but it'll do it. And then it'll just be green and then you can, you're done with the battery. This is made, the extreme is made for highly sulfated batteries. Mm -hmm. But one warning of advice is that you must make sure that the battery has something in it before you use this, otherwise you're gonna end up boosting the battery. It won't start unless there's six volts there mm -hmm. on the 12 volt battery. Don't use it on six volt batteries, only 12 volt. So you can put it on any 12 volt battery that's here. Mm -hmm. And so, and so again, it's rated at uh, two and a half amps instead of two. Yeah. The cap discharges about twice as fast. But it's got it. And uh, 400 amp pulses continuously. Yeah, 400 amp, amp pulses. So it's quite a bit more robust circuit. And the, it, the original. Yeah. And it's computer controlled, so you only got one light. You don't have to worry about flashing lights. It's either red or green. Yeah. All right, we're at, this is the uh, original uh, 2 amp 12 volt. Well, actually, this is the newest model before they were discontinued and replaced with the 2.5 amp um, extreme uh, model. And what we're doing with this one is I have this hooked up to this big battery here um, that I was using on my jet engine uh, to run the uh, oil pump and plasma ignition. This is a um, uh, one of these combo batteries, deep cycle plus starter, and um, even with being two amps, cap discharging half as many times per the same time as this one, which means this discharges twice as often as that one does for the same period of time, but that is still able to bring this big monster battery up to 14.86 um, volts which is uh, pretty phenomenal to be able to, to, to push a big battery like that. So what I'm going to do is just to be able to test this new um, uh, this extreme model here is that I'm going to um, hook this up to the battery and see if we can actually get that push to uh, 15 and uh, if so that's a pretty serious testimony for um, a little two and a half amp charger and of course it does a battery good so um, we'll see what happens okay so what we're going to do is this is at 14.08 um, this settled a little bit uh, since I disconnected the old original 2 amp charger. This used to be the biggest little charger in the world, now this is. And as powerful and profound as this charger is and what it's been able to do for batteries all around the world, this is going to do it even better um, and it's in the same size package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to the power and we're going to see, see that voltage going right up. Okay, so what do we got here is 14.92. That's already pushed it past where it was. And you can hear that sound there. Let's see if you can hear, hear that. Got a little clicking. That's how fast the cap is discharging, which is twice as fast, or maybe even a little bit more than twice as fast than the old charger, which means not only is it two, two and a half amps compared to two, it's discharging twice as quick, which means you're going to be cutting down the uh, charging time drastically. Look at this. Already 15.04 volts. If 
You can hear it inside the battery too. A little clicking. That clicking is each time the ca uh, capacitor is discharging. So all computer controlled, one light, red, when it goes green, pull it off the charger and that's it. So this thing being able to push this big big battery up, this is uh, 900 cold cranking amps or 115 amp hours. Already at 1512. So I'm just going to let that run for a couple minutes and see where it goes and uh, I'll disconnect it when, it, when the uh, charge light comes on. It's only been about five or six minutes and already the 2A12 Extreme model from Tesla Chargers is already um, pushing this battery to 15.27 which is amazing. Um, This is the exact battery I have. So 15.27. So I don't know, that could take a couple hours to push it. I think the green light might come on when it's about 15.3 um, exactly, but uh, I'll find out. And I don't think that it's going to take uh, a couple hours to do it, but we'll see. You can hear it clicking away. I don't know if that sound is going to come through, but that, thrrr, that rapid clicking, that's how fast the cap is discharging. I mean, this is hands down the most powerful uh, two, two and a half amp range uh, 12 volt charger in the world that will not boil your batteries to death. And that's the key. Well, I had to go to sleep, and then I just left this running all night, and it's official. This uh, little charger is a beast. Uh, 2.5 amp, uh, 2A12 EX model, available from Tesla Chargers. Here's the green light. <clears throat> Fully charged. Last night, um, when first putting it on, it pushed this to about 14.8 something, or 9 something and um, I waited around a bit and it didn't push it straight up and in fact the voltage dropped a little bit but that's actually a good sign um, <clears throat> and what I mean by that is this is a graph out of a book that we call the battery bible it's uh, probably about a hundred years old and what it did was it taught farmers um, how to basically keep their uh, batteries indefinitely good um, you can get a copy of this graph at free solarsecrets.com if you go to freesolarsecrets.com you can download the free uh, uh, book written by Peter Lindemann and what you're seeing here is this is the, the charging graph right here it hits kind of a plateau and it starts rising and as it gets a little bit past 15 volts what you see is that the voltage drops so it is true that that voltage should drop and um, next time I'll, I'll actually show that <clears throat> in live time and what that means when that voltage drops, this is the signature telling you that the battery chemistry has been 100% reversed back to like new condition. Why? Because the voltage drops because the final layers of sulfation were dissolved into the electrolyte. And so what that does is it increases conductivity and it drops the uh, impedance of the battery and so the voltage will drop because there's less back pressure to hold that voltage back. Like if you put your foot over a tailpipe, you're going to cause that pressure to increase uh, on, on a car. Um, and like on a battery with voltage, uh, you can compare it to the same thing like a gas pressure where um, the more impedance there is um, or resistance from that sulfation on the uh, lead plates and there's lower conductivity in the um, electrolyte solution, then it's going to force the voltage up. And so right here you can see it drop down. This is resting at 13.8. That is absolutely above 12.6. And when the green light came on, that means it did all its um, cycling and rejuvenation topping event. And um, what happened is that it uh, shut off. It's, you can hear that it's no longer clicking and it's done.
And so for this charger to be able to push uh, this big battery right here, um, which is a pretty good sized battery, 115 uh, amp hour or equivalent to the, uh, what's that, 900 coal cranking amps, it's one of these combo marine batteries, which are really not the best kind of battery. It's best to either have a starter battery or a deep cycle, but not one of these uh, combo ones. Um, but in any case, um, this thing is 100% rejuvenated and uh, back to like new condition. So go to teslachargers.com and you can click uh, mouse over products and then you're going to see a 2 amp 12 volt charger and this is the um, 2A12 EX model. So I am more than happy with this uh, charger. It exceeded my expectations because I didn't even know if it was going to be able to push this all the way to the top and finish it off. And <clears throat> in fact it did.